How's it going YouTube? This is Paul with PM Designs and as you can see my camera's having a little trouble focusing on this all white packaging. I'm going to go ahead and silence my phone just so we don't get any interruptions during this video. And what I purchased, as you can see the label is torn off but I removed the uh, shipping label that was on here. This is the ATR 6250 or the Audio Technica 6250. This is from their ATR series, which is their entry level, consumer level product line. And what this is, this is the uh, stereo condenser microphone. And I purchased this as a refurbished unit or a factory reconditioned, as they say. Still comes with the uh, US limited lifetime warranty. We'll just take that box out of the way. And if you want to go ahead and uh, read this, you know, it just says you can send it back plus, you know, some money, blah, blah, blah. If you have problems. As you can see, everything is just in little bubble wrap packaging. We have the bag that has all of our accessories, so we'll just go ahead and dump that out. Now, this microphone also goes by the name of just the ATR25. So if you're looking at reviews and other information on this mic, Search ATR 6250, ATR 25, um, Audio Techno Stereo Condenser Mic. This is a stereo microphone. And as you can see, it comes with a little, wind, little foam windscreen, which I may or may not use depending on the conditions. Comes with a AA battery, I believe. We'll just go ahead and assume that's a AA. Then we also get a few wires and connectors and mounts. We get this one, which is really tight. So, in order to not break that, but I can go slide over here and grab a screwdriver. Alright, just adjust this real quick. Alright. Just a simple little flathead screwdriver and you can adjust this has a built-in little cold shoe mount on the bottom. Not sure if that went off frame. It's a little cold shoe mount with a quarter 20 thread so you can set this up on a tripod and attach your microphone to it or you can put it in the hot shoe on your camera. Or in my case I'm going to be attaching it to a little uh, accessory flash bracket that was reviewed in the uh, Sunpack LED video light review. But any little flash bracket will work or the hot shoe on your camera if you're not putting something already in that bracket um, it also comes with another adapter that you can attach you can remove this mount and attach in here and attach this onto a microphone stand such as the Samsung MK10 which I also did a review on a while back so we'll go to the different wires and as you can see you have a short stereo lead for use with your camera this end with the with the uh, threaded end right here as you can see this is the end that's going to screw into the back of the microphone to keep it from being able to be pulled out and this will go over and go to the audio input on your camera or recording device um, you can always add a little bit add an extension lead to this or I'm sure you can use a standard uh, male 1 8 stereo plug and I'm sure that'll plug into the back of the camera without a problem on the back of the microphone. It also comes with a much longer lead which has the same stereo threaded connector on one end as well as it terminates into two mono leads for hooking it into a mixer or some kind of audio recording device. It also comes with generally generously comes with two um, quarter inch phone plugs if you're bored or other recording device doesn't have the smaller 1 8 plugs. So move this out of the way. Go ahead and open up the microphone. As you can see it's a nice, looks nicely built. Now this didn't come with any instructions but I'm sure they are available from Audio Technica's website has your battery compartment which to access you just simply unscrew this little barreled part right here 
Up top you can see we have our left and right stereo microphones and there's the model number as well as your on off switch. Now this doesn't have any built in mounting points yet so you do have to use the included uh, mounts that it comes with but they feel really sturdy so that shouldn't be an issue and as I was meant as I was talking about earlier let's see if a standard plug will work nope so potentially if one of your leads does get damaged you will have to go to Audio Technica and order replacement leads unless you can find these online I'm not sure if there's a certain name for them yet but let me go slide over and grab my camera and this is the camera that I'm going to be using it with so I'll be plugging this microphone into the microphone input and then using the other bracket that I have that is being used on this camera I'll be mounting this on top of the camera now if you read other reviews this microphone is not a shotgun microphone it's not intended to be a shotgun microphone so you're gonna pick up more of the ambient noise just due to its nature it's not it's meant to be a stereo microphone it's meant but I will be doing some testing of it and you know seeing how it does recording vocals recording you know vocals with this pointed backwards on the camera so as I, I can narrate as I'm filming something and still capture ambient you know the ambient noises outside you know birds chirping whatever um, so that's generally my purpose with this is um, using it on top of the camera to either record ambient noise or to flip it around catch ambient noise plus my narrations now I do have with the type of filming I'm doing I don't really need the a shotgun mic because I'm not really recording somebody speaking it's either gonna be myself and ambient noise or really just myself so if I'm recording just myself I'll be using a live mic and this will be for other you know but you can record this going on into a, uh, a separate audio recorder or you can do like I'm doing with this camera or with this camera is recording it into the camera but I do have my little Sony recorder that I can plug this into and set this up and record ambient noise to use as a track for something so uh, this has been my little unboxing of the Audio-Technica ATR6250 and I will be doing review videos and audio test videos recording both just ambient sound and recording ambient sound plus me narrating whatever's going on so thank you for watching um, hit the like button if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button for more content like this